Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 if you're truly Lord of Injury the Mad. Hi Lord of Flows is Harmage of Spiffening Level 22 Boxes Madman, Cutest Twike in 2013, and all around neutral guy. I have a plan which involves going back to go to shade because that's what plans do. Uh, that's a lot of red markers, what's going on? Oh, it's just these guys. Nice. Why I have refused to use this gun earlier? No idea. It is probably something to do with its high ammo usage. But that is no longer relevant because 1028 ammo. Oh. Uh, this is not someone whom I wish to meet in this particular journey. We also have another enemy over there to keep things interesting. Where's the death claw? No oh, idea. Yeah. Okay, who was this? I just throw a brain. Not a big problem. The death claw is the one to worry about, but the death claw has for some unknown reason just up and left. Ah, he's coming back now. I'm just gonna have to heal a little before we do anything else. Put some more in there. If you will. Or not. This doesn't look good. Okay, uncripple please. And some health. Good. Come on. There we go. Yes, that was that hard. Shit. Alright, uh, go to shade. That's where we're headed. Keep the gun out. There is still much to expect of this. Don't know what might happen. Things may still go to shit. You kind of still want to find out what the story was behind how Jamie became a cool. Because that used to be very... There's just no easy travel, is there? And now we get that on company again. Which means repairing my armor. Which isn't a bad thing. Whoop. Get that. Sure. Then that. What do you mean you survived? Yeah, you better stagger. This has been very, very violent. Yeah, take those rounds. Didn't he have a weapon? Uh, take those rounds, those rounds, that, 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 that. How's my armor doing? Can I repair my armor? Probably good, couldn't I? Ooh, my armor is very broken. Let's get extra copies of armor. Let's slowly stroll over there and get some more armor. Assuming what I have thus far won't be enough to fix it. Didn't any of them actually have guns? Where did the guns go? Interesting. Uh, okay, fix, fix, fix. Ooh. Almost full durability. Nice. Can't complain about that one, can I? No, not at all. That's it. This has been a fighting ground before as well, apparently. Seriously, didn't these guys have guns? I'm pretty sure they shot me. 
the bastards. And now they tell me they didn't even have weapons. Uh, this shit should be near that bridge, right? Yeah, oh, there. Why is it not on the map? On the radar? Who knows? Anyway, I do hope this is my last violent encounter. For now. I really need to get rid of this naughty nightmare. Then I can worry about everything else. But first, naughty nightmare. Please tell me you're home, you sick son of a... A bitch? What the hell was that? I just had the weirdest loading screen. Sarah? What are you fleeing from? Where's Ronald? What's going on? Sarah? I'm not a cool, am I? No? I do have radiation poisoning though, maybe that's that's that might be a bad thing. Guess I could get rid of that. Uh, where is it? Right away! Maybe I no longer glow? So... Hey? Seriously, where's Ronald? I'm kind of tempted to just place at PC the bastard. If that's even an option. I was told to meet him here. The settlement. There's no bloody sign of the bastard. Oh, taking his caps then. Fuck the bastard. If he ain't gonna be home, he ain't gonna be wealthy. At some point though, I will have to start redeeming myself with good deeds. Alright. More bottle caps? I need to ensure that I actually, you know, Stay in the observer state? Where am I now? Still neutral observer, good. Seriously, is there nothing? No one? This was Well hey there, stranger. That's a good plan. Hello. Are you ready to take the tour of my collection? Yes. Well, come on then. Let me show you around. But no free Nuka Cola until the end of the tour. When Nuka Cola was invented by John Caleb Braverton in 2044, it quickly became the world's most popular soft drink. The Wonder Drink soon drew a dedicated following, which prompted the Nuka Cola Corporation to release many promotional items like these. By 2067, a Nuka Cola machine such as this rare, pristine model could be found on almost every street in America. Yes, go on. Even in today's crazy world, Nuka Cola is still the number one choice of refreshment among Armageddon survivors. Indeed. Okay. Cool. As promised, here is a little pick me up. An ice cold Nuka Cola. Just look at the frost on the bottle. So cold and delicious. Pardon me. <clears throat> I tend to lose myself when I hold on to a Nuka Cola. Before I get to the little proposition I have for you, let me tell you a little bit about Nuka Cola Quantum. Quantum? Never heard of it before, except I've sold multiple bottles. Well, 
Right before the bombs fell, the good folks at Nuka-Cola developed what they hoped was an improvement on the original formula. Calling it Nuka-Cola Quantum. It was said to have twice the calories, twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, and twice the taste! So what went wrong? Well, the flavor certainly wasn't the issue. The public was just split on the unique feature of the Quantum's appearance. You see, to make it stand out on store shelves and to give it that extra kick, the formula called for a mild isotope. The effect was a drink that not only boosted your energy, but also glowed with a bright blue light. I think the game has sparked out for me. I need to relaunch it once I finish this episode. Wait, did you, did you say it has an isotope in it? As in, it's radioactive? Oh no, only ever so mildly. No ill effects were ever recorded. Well, it does have the unique property of making your... Um... Your... Pea glow. <laughs> that sounds like dangerous stuff. Oh no, not at all. Nuka-Cola Quantum was made under the supervision of the Food and Drug Association. They would never let harmful products end up in stores. What's your interest in all of this? I love the stuff! I can't get enough of it! I thought I was hooked on regular Nuka-Cola, but the Quantum beats it by a long shot. I've got to have more! Yeah, this is kind of buggy. Okay, enough with the addict routine, tell me what you want already. Can you resist the taste that'll blow up in your face? Like Ronald always says. <laughs> he thinks of the best Nuka-Cola jingles. Anyway, for every bottle you bring me, I'll pay you some caps. You know, for expenses. But if you're super cool, and find like enough bottles to fill my Nuka-Cola machine, 30 and all, I got a super secret cool prize for you. Come on, Sarah, no secrets between friends. Nope, I'm not telling. It's a really cool surprise, though. You're gonna love it. I promise. She sounds different. Uh, okay, sure, why not? Oh, goody. I can taste the quantum already. Good luck to you, sweetie. Uh, do you know someone named Grady? Nope, sorry. Uh, is there anything else interesting to see near Goddess Shade? Well, to the east, there are some nasty raiders in Evergreen Mills. I'd stay away from there if I were you. Luckily, we're kind of hidden here under the old highway, so no one bothers us. Hmm, raiders, you say. What do you know about Nuka-Cola Quantum? Well, besides what I've already told you, not much. They were working on a way to prevent the glow from remaining once it passed through a person's system, but it was never perfected. I heard that the stuff they use to make it glow and give it that kick has a shelf life of over a thousand years. Should make the bottles easier to spot. Alright. What exactly does a bottle of Quantum look like? Well, the bottles are glass just like regular Nuka-Cola, except the glass is clear. That way the glowy stuff inside shows through. You'll know it when you see it. And what happens when you drink it? Oh my! It's like a tidal wave of flavor washing all over your body! Your head spins, but everything is clear at the same time! It's quite a rush! <laughs> Alright, you seem kind of addicted to this stuff. Is it safe to drink? Addicted? Why would you say that? I can stop drinking it any time I want. That's so silly to think I would get hooked on the most delicious soft drink ever devised by man. Let me ask about something else. Okay, shoot! Uh, I have to go now. Bye. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I realized that. Hey, pal, what were you doing in Sierra's place? Looking for you. I was checking out Sierra's Nuka-Cola collection. That better be all you were checking out. I don't like guys messing with my woman. I am not messing with anything. Good. I aim to keep it that way. She's a fine woman. I'd love to get closer to her, if you know what I mean. What are you trying at? Wow, you are as naive as you look. How do I 
put it. I'd love to do the horizontal bop with her, you know, plow her bean field. Come on, kid. Can't say I blame you. Now you're speaking my language. Well, only problem is she won't give it up for me. That's where you come into the picture. I actually can't blame her. She seems crazy. Though on the on the, on the other hand, these the crazy people are, are apparently very good in bed. So, uh, it's just what is it you need me to do? I know she's asked you to find her some Nuka Cola Quantum. Heck, she asks everyone that wanders through here. What I'm proposing is you still look for the drinks, but instead of bringing it to her, you bring it to me. She'll be so impressed that I got all the Nuka Cola for her, she'll melt in my arms like butter. I pay you the same she was going to pay, and everyone's happy. How about you pay me double for each quantum model? No, I don't think so. Take what you can get. Okay. Thought you might. Good. I'll see you soon then. Uh, I have Bring other me things some quantum, to discuss. Do you know someone named Grady? Grady? Maybe. Why are you asking? Uh, I have a package for you from him. Holy crap! You have it? Well, hand it over. I've been waiting over a year for that damn thing. I'll sell it to you for 300 caps. No way. That's more than I was going to pay Grady. Forget it. All I'm offering is 200 caps. That's it. Take it or leave it. Sure, here you go. Hey, thanks a bunch for bringing it to me. You could have been a jerk and sold it to someone else, but you didn't. Ah, uh, hell, let me give you the rest of the caps. I was going to give Grady anyway. Hmm. Is there anything else interesting to see near Godoshade? My friend, you are at the ass end of the capital wasteland. If it weren't for Sierra, I'd be out of here. One thing I can tell you is stay the hell away from the Dunwich building to the south. That place is bad, Mojo. I don't know what that place is about, but I hear about weird shit going on. Oh, I must have run. It was, it was terrible. It was dark and full of terrors. And what do you know about the Google Quantum? That stuff is some of the nastiest shit I've ever had. Imagine drinking a Nuka Cola, then downing a fistful of sugar and punching yourself in the head. That pretty much sums it up. Sierra shared one with me a long time ago. After I drank it, my piss glowed for a week. That's a very good way to, you know, light your rooms. I have to go now. Just watch your ass around Sierra. She's mine. Yeah, okay. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.